Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. We've got the FX Crown out today. We've got a call to come sort out pigeons that are messing up some solar panels. So that means a lot of fun for us and for you. So sit back and enjoy. So the gun of choice today is the FX Crown. We wanted a medium power gun to shoot the 26 grand javelins with, and this one is an excellent platform for that. So what we've got on here is the Element Optic Nexus scope. We've got the Eagle Vision scope cam. We've got a 580 cc bottle on here because we uh, just need a little bit more shot count with that heavy 26 grain. Accutec bipod, the Sabre tactical bottle clamp, and then of course this beautiful GRS stock that is very ergonomic and comfortable. So this is what we chose today and this is what we're going to do the job with. It was time to get to work, so we zeroed the gun, filled it with air and headed out to the problem area. We received an urgent message from the farmer during the week that the pigeons have moved over to his solar panels and are now busy destroying them with pigeon feces. And because we still have a lack of electricity from our government, he now has to run the generator more often to make up for the loss of power from the solar panels. Or risk the fresh milk getting too warm before they truck it away. We do apologize for the high noise levels in this video because the generator was running while we were filming. I did try to denoise it a bit with AI noise cancelling so I hope that helps. So as you can see there, on the roof, it's just pigeons are all over the solar panels and half of the solar panels are covered in bird feces and that's a big problem and that's what we need to take care of. Solar panels can easily be damaged so we're first going to target the pigeons that give us a safe shot. And he's dead. First one down for the day, 47 meters. The first shot lands in the neck and he spirals down to the ground. Not a bad start to the day. Okay, so we're moving away from the generator for a while quickly while we wait for the pigeons to go sit down again because it's just extremely noisy. But it's, it's a very noisy farm anyway so we're not going to get away from the noise. But yeah, there's what it is. 40 meters. And down goes another one, 40 meters. Solid in the chest and the slug explodes through him. Maggie was up next and she saw a few pigeons land in a tree and made her way over there and got ready for the shot. Hit. Yes, another, oh Maggie hits this one straight through the middle, resulting in a loud impact. So that wasn't an easy shot for Maggie. Maggie, just show the position you were in. I was like... <laughs> like kneeling down oh, like that. Not the most stable position. Because it's a very dirty floor, yeah, so you don't really want to put your don't knees down. Sit down. But you got it done. This pigeon gets it through the back and he drops down as well. Okay, so we turned our attention to the right because we got a few on the on the cable there. Yes. Oh, nice. Got that one, 63 meters. That's all on the left edge. Maggie holds to the left for a slight breeze. The slug curls in and hits this pigeon for a beautiful shot. We saw the pigeons fly in the direction of the solar panels, so we quickly made our way over there and sure enough we found them all there. <laughs> Down he goes, another one. And down he goes. So that's two cleared from the solar panels, awesome. The first shot is perfect and I hit him right where I wanted to and he goes down. The second shot I slightly pulled to the right but luckily I clipped him in the neck, he runs out of air and goes down over the roof. With those shots the pigeons flew up and sat on the roof to the back of us. It was Maggie's turn again and she quickly moved in for the shot. Five, 
This luck travels straight through his chest and the other one stayed put giving Maggie another opportunity. This pigeon immediately regrets his decision, gets a slug through the neck. He tries to fight it a bit but runs out of air before he falls down to the ground. The pigeons flew up again after that shot and returned to the solar panel roof, but Maggie was already waiting for them. Yes, got that one! 20 meters! An easy shot and straight through the neck. This time the pigeon stayed put and it was time for me to take a shot again. And he's dead. So yeah, that was 26 meters. I just want to show you through the scope cam the state of the solar panels. Just look at this. Look at all the bird feces on the solar panel there. So these solar panels, the efficiency is probably down about 50% because of all of that. Because when it rains as well, it, it dissolves the bird feces and it makes like a layer of junk over it. So it's a massive problem. Just, just look at the state of it. It's absolutely crazy. So that's why we need to sort them out. And then look at all the pigeons coming over here. Look at that. Maggie. Look at that. In the back. So I'm going to take another shot here quickly. And he's rolling, rolling. <laughs> Down he goes. Awesome. These shots are pretty easy, but it's not about how good of a shot you are or how far you can shoot, but more about getting the job done efficiently and humanely and as quickly as possible. At this point we decided to get away from the noise for a bit and go take a little break at the truck. It was also time to fill the magazines again and to fill the gun with air. Right, so we're back at the truck, so let's quickly talk about the tune before we fill her up. So, regulator is on 150 bar, we've got the power wheel on 23, and then we've got the trans support on high. Now, there is a fine adjust in here as well, which I'll show you what that's on, I can't remember what it's on. But yeah, that gets the 20, uh, 26 grain javelin at 930 feet per second, which is a pretty good speed for shooting a slug. Okay, so it's time to head out again. We filled up the magazines, filled the gun with air, so we're ready for another round. So let's go. There's a tractor coming. Oh, starting down. Awesome. About 40 meters. And real fight starting. Yeah, they need to go. <laughs> Maggie is absolutely right, I never let an opportunity on a starling go by and this one is no exception. Next up we've got some pigeons on the roof. <laughs> He's down, awesome. We'll go pick him up quickly. This shot results in a nice headshot and the involuntary contraction starts as he goes down to the floor. And this is the one I've just shot. Ah, so he's dead. Awesome. In the meantime, Maggie spotted a few pigeons in the tree again and got ready. Nice. Put him down, 27 meters. Another solid impact and on to the next one. This side again. On the red, green, to the right. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Right in the back of the neck and he's down 30 meters. 
Hitting the off switch is still one of my favorites. As always, the pigeons were on the move and so were we. Got him 46 meters and he's dead. Through the spine, the tail flares and down he goes. <laughs> he just jumped up. Yeah, he's down 51 meters. This one gets it through the neck and I'm actually surprised that he can still use his wings but that didn't last long and down he goes. In both of those shots I just used the balance of the gun to aid me. So all I did is I just put it right on the, the balance spot there which makes the gun extremely stable and you can just let it rest and just slightly pull the trigger and pull the shot off and then take them down. It gives you a very stable platform and it's so nice when a gun, gun is balanced like this. It really helps you when you take shots off of poles and things like these. <laughs> down he goes, another one at 48 meters. Another one hits in the spine and completely destroys him. Maggie wanted to get some long range shots in, so we decided to move to the other side of the farm where we saw an opportunity for just that. Yeah, look at all the baby cows. So slippery where we're walking right now. Not a very... And there Maggie almost sinks into the cow dung. Maggie, this is not a good idea to go through here. We are not equipped for it. Tell Maggie not to do something and she does it. <laughs> Where did I find this crazy wife? <laughs> and now I need to do the same with my broken knee. Nice. I made it. And she's already over there. So let's get going. Oh, she's after those pigeons on the wire over there. I want the one right on top. Okay. Yes. Oh. Got that one. Nice shot. Going down. 108 meters. 108 meters. <laughs> Maggie claimed the one on top and get him with a brilliant headshot. Now the pressure was on me to do the same. So we were shooting from there previously. So that was 108 and this is now 105. Confirm, yeah, 105. I'm gonna dial back to 105 and uh, see so you can take the shot. Wind seam straight from front. <laughs> Got him 105 meters and down. And there they all go. Not as impressive as Maggie's shot, but right in the off switch and down he goes. In the meantime, Maggie followed the pigeons that flew up and found them on the roof to the back of us and she immediately got ready to take them down. Got oh, him. Another one. Got him. Another one. Go for it. <laughs> oh, missed that one. <laughs> Another one. I think you got two there. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I need pellets. There you go. Maggie didn't hold back and she mows down these pigeons one by one.
Okay, so yeah, let's uh, move around the corner here again and see what we can find and then probably need to get going soon. We decided to make our way back to the truck and maybe shoot one more pigeon if we find one. But on this farm, that is not a problem. Maggie, do you want to take it? I'll give you the honors. Awesome. Maggie decided to end this video in style with a brutal headshot. And with that our day also comes to an end so we collected all the pigeons and made our way back to the truck. Well that is it we had loads of fun and hopefully we made quite a big dent in the pigeon population. We're coming back here in about a day or two to continue with our job so make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, uh, follow us on Instagram and then we'll see you again next time. Cheers! <laughs> Donkeys.